Welcome to QTP Learning Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will see about output values in QTP. Output value step is a step in which one or more values are getting captured by a QTP at a specific point in your component and the value will get stored for the duration of the run session. This means it will capture the values in the screen and it will, it will store temporarily uh, in QTP so that you can use it for your uh, next action for your future purpose during the run session. So this can be a, a output of one action will is the input of another action. So we will see how to add output values in QTP now. So I'm going to record a simple uh, again a simple uh, uh, inserting order. So in this case, I would like to retry my order number. So what's my order number? So here it is showing 18. So I want to capture this 18 under 2. I have to store it uh, somewhere in QTP. So how do I do this? Uh, go to insert menu, and go to output values, and select standard output values. So again, uh, like, like similar to checkpoints, we have different sets of output values, standard, uh, text, text area, database, and XML. So in this case, uh, we go ahead for a standard output value so that uh, it will work for most of the objects. So uh, to insert a standard output value, you can just click on this option or you can press Ctrl plus F12 key. So just click here and your mouse pointer will turn into a hand symbol. So. yeah now click on the object that is on order number 18 here just click it and you need to select the the uh, item the which object you would like to retrieve so in this case we are going to retrieve the order number so just select this and click on ok so here it will list out all the properties of the particular object like whether it's enabled uh, focused height width text color background so in this case we are going to take the text right so just check this option and click on ok and just exit click on stop so here you would have noticed there's a change in your global sheet so the column a has been renamed to order underscore number underscore text underscore out so what the qtp will do is during the execution time it will try the value and it will get stored here temporarily so you can use it across your scripts, uh, this particular value. Uh, but you want to check whether your execution is fine or not, whether your recording is fine or not. So to validate that, just click on run. So now the order number will be 19 here. Right. So we can just uh, check whether the order number 19 is getting captured or not. I think it's captured. So to view the result, I just click on runtime data table. So this is the data table uh, using by QTP during runtime. Yes, here it is. So here you could see the uh, order number 19 here. So this is how you get the value and get stored in your data table for your future purpose. Thank you.